Hey guys, it's Jenny here from Angel Handmade Paper Graph. Today I am working with the Love from Lizzie May 2018 card kit. This is my first card for today. I am using the tag from the kit. I am also using the toucan from the kit, the toucan die. I'm just running it through my Sizzix Big Shot a few times with a few of the different colored papers just to create a little color for him. I have cut a circle using a My Favorite Things die that I'm adhering the toucan to and then adding all the bits and pieces in the different colors using my Tombow Mono Multi Adhesive. Just adding all the little bits into his tail and to his beak. I'm now adhering some of the patterned papers from the kit, just adding a few little bits and pieces. I've also brought in a doily from my stash. Just trying to keep this one to a minimal. I was after something very plain and simple just to uh, make sure that the little toucan was the main focus of the card. So I've used some of the black cardstock and some of the pattern paper here. I'm just adhering everything using my Scotch ATG gun. And I've just adhered that to a Twiddly Bits card base using the, Scot the Scotch ATG glue. And that's card one done. I actually later on went, decided to add some of the Nouveau drops to the flower. So I've just added that back into the start of the video. Now working on card number two. So again, I've just cut a piece from the pattern paper. I'm also using a leftover from that last card that I created. I just used my um, EK Success Cutter B Scissors just to cut the banner shape into the bottom of that pattern paper. I'm now using one of the flower stamps. I think it's called a hibiscus from the stamp set. So I'm just going to stamp that onto some of the white cardstock using Memento Tuxedo Black. I'm going to color that in using my Copic markers. I'm just doing a very basic coloring with the Copic markers. Just adding down a base layer first with the lightest red marker. So I think I used R35, R37 and R39. So first I'll add the base layer down first and then I'll go from darkest to lightest with my markers. So I'm just working my way through on each of the leaves of the flower. At the start of the video, I did actually have a link up to the uh, challenge that we're having this month. Um, it's the beginning of the challenges for Love From Lizzie. We'd love to have you join in with us. Um, being that it's the first one, you know, we'd love a few extra entries in and um, yeah, I hope to have you guys join in with us. So I'm now going in with the R39 marker. What I'm doing is I'm sort of drawing in the edge of the flower. You've got to be really careful with R Copic markers. They tend to bleed a lot. So you've just got to watch the amount of marker that you're adding down. So what I'm doing is I'm adding the little bit of the dark marker to the edge, the outer edge of the leaves um well they're not really called leaves are they um and then to the center of the flower as well and then i'm just flicking it out then i'm going in with the r37 marker and i'm just carefully flicking the darkest color in from the outside so just grabbing onto the edge of it as i'm flicking with the new color just working my way around sorry guys my camera is actually directly above me so when i'm coloring in images like this all you're seeing is the top of the markers. So I do apologize. Just working my way through. And next up, I will grab the R35, the lightest marker, and then I'll go in and flick from both sides just to blend all of those colors in. So the reason that I did the dark marker on the outside of the petals, that's the word I was looking for. Um, I do that to make the, the each of the petals look like they are curved so that they do fall out from the outside of the petal. So that's why I use the darker marker on the outside as well as the inside. 
So then I'm going to go in with my EK Success cut of e-scissors um, and then I'm going to carefully fussy cut that flower out. So just adhering all of my bits and pieces down. Just trying to work out what sentiment I'm going to use. I'm just using a Lawn Fawn acrylic block here just to stamp that down and some of the Mento, Memento Tuxedo Black. And then I went in with the peel offs and added some of the gold peel off around the outside of that white rectangle. So now moving on to card number three. So I'm just going through my stamp set, just trying to work out what I wanted to use on this card. So I'm gonna go with the leaf from that card. And I'm going to stamp it onto some of that white cardstock using the Memento Tuxedo Black again. Um, sorry, no, I didn't. I used my My Favourite Things Hybrid ink um, because I decided that I was going to use my Tim Holtz Ranger Distress Ink markers. You probably haven't seen me use these very often. I very, very rarely use them. They're not usually my thing. I don't know why. Sometimes I just I don't pick things up very well and this is just one of them. So I'm just doing very, very basic coloring with these, just going from darkest to lightest, and then I'll just use a water brush just to carefully blend them in together. I do have a full set. Those of you that know me will know that I am one of those people that has full set itis. I need to have the full set. I can't just buy bits and pieces. That's actually what I did do with the Copic markers, but I think the set of Copic markers is a little bit different considering that the, the amount of the markers that you do need well not that you do need but the amount of markers that are available so just adding all of that in and then I'm going to grab my water brush and carefully blend all of those colors in together so you don't need a lot of water to do this that's why I am just using normal cardstock because I am um, can't think of the word using the water sparingly every time I hear that word it makes me think of clueless for those of you that know the movie clueless I grew up on that movie and you will know exactly why sporadically is the word that they're using clueless all the time but sparingly is so close that's what it reminds me of every time I hear it so just working my way through carefully Blending all of those out. I will be cutting the leaf out, as you can see here. So it didn't really matter if I was outside of the lines and things. I should have, could have gone a little bit rougher with my colouring. It didn't matter. I've just cut a circle using a My Favourite Things die. And I'm adding some of the gold ribbon from the kit. And then adhering that to a Twiddly Bits card base. So that was card three. We're now moving on to card number four. So what I've decided to do on this one is actually make my own pattern paper. So what I'm going to use do is use the Memento Tuxedo Black and I'm going to do repeat stamping with the leaf. And I'm just using a Lawn Fawn acrylic block. That's the acrylic blocks that I have in my stash. It was easier than using the Misty Stool and having to keep move the image. Keep move the image. I mean to say keep moving the image. My words are not working today. This is my third or fourth voiceover in the last couple of days because I wasn't happy with the first few. Um, and then I had a few comments about my video being a little bit fast. So I've decided to go back in and edit it and slow it down a little bit. It does go for a little bit longer, but apparently that's what people are happy to watch. So I stamped out the little um, leaf image again, just on a piece of white cardstock from the kit and I'm just using my Copic markers. I'm doing a very, very quick coloring on this one because again, it is going to be fussy cut out so it didn't matter at all. So now just using my EK Success cutter B scissors to cut that out. I've used a sentiment from the kit but I actually end up changing that as you can see here. Um, just that it, it wasn't fitting with the design that I wanted. I am using some of the Nouveau Crystal Drops from the kit. I'm just adding them just in between each of the little leaf images. Um, and I did bring a doily in from my stash as well. All right, so we're now working on card number five. And yes, we are halfway. So I've just used some of the red and the yellow cardstocks from the kit. 
pulling in another one of the tags from the kit and a doily again from those doilies that were sitting on my desk. I am cutting out the toucan image using my Sizzix Big Shot, just doing it a few times to grab a few different colours. Adhering him to the tag and then I decided to want to put a sentiment on it as well and I'm just adding some of the gold peel off to the bottom of the sentiment. So that was a nice quick one. So now we're moving on to card number six. So I decided to emboss one of the leaf images. So I'm just using the gold embossing powder from the kit, which I absolutely love. It's it's quite detailed, it's it's gorgeous. So I'm just popping all the gold, the leftovers back into the tub, putting the lid on before I knock it over. I did fussy cut the image out. Now this card layout currently I completely change this gold circle I can't remember what uh, Lizzie said that it was called but it's not something that I would normally use um, and it didn't matter how many times I played with it it just wasn't working for me that happens every product is not made for every person um, I'm thinking later on I might use it um, to do some embossing so I'm going to stamp through it using a mini sponge and I will get that going so I'm working on card number seven now. I have um, cut some of the butterfly patterned paper and some of the black cardstock. I've embossed one of those gold sentiment, one of those gold sentiments. I've embossed one of the sentiments on to some black cardstock using the gold embossing powder. And I did do a leaf as well, which I'm going to fussy cut. Um, this is another one of those cards that wasn't working for me. I decided to use some of the gold um, uh, glitter paste and I used the stencil from the kit over the top of it so it was only on each of the little leaf sections and I dried that very carefully using my heat gun. Now I did adhere the ribbon using my um, Tombow Mono Multi but it did not work so I ended up having to go back in with my Scotch ATG. That's this card finished. All right, we're now on to card eight. So I decided to pull that sentiment that I had stamped earlier and didn't use on my card. And I have again used some of the pattern papers that I had leftovers. I've cut a few different circles from them just so that I could make use of every single little bit of paper that I did have. I ended up bannering both ends of that sentiment and I also cut a white cardstock circle out as well. Just trying to work out what I'm going to do here. It still felt like it was missing something. So I decided to add a leaf onto it um, that I have just colored using a quick Copic marker. And I'm going to use some of that, um, that gold texture paste again using the stencil from the kit. Make sure that if you're using any of these products that you do wash your stencil once you use it. I keep wet baby wipes on my desk and that's what I use to wipe it off. Adhering that using the Scotch ATG. Moving on to card number nine. Again, just cutting some of the pattern papers from the kit. My idea was I was going to cut a circle um, and pop that into the middle and just use a sentiment but it still needed more so I stamped the sentiment down using the memento tuxedo black and then I decided to stamp some of those leaf images around it and it just it, it finished it it's what I needed sometimes it just needs that little something more I didn't even color them I didn't think that it needed it I thought it, it bring them out quite well um, so I'm going to adhere all of that using the scotch ATG gun and I have also decided to add some of the Nuvo crystal drops that were in the kit. Just around little bits here and there. Make sure that you pop this card aside because I have a habit of knocking the drops before they're dry. I do it every time. Thankfully this time I didn't. So I'm now working on card number 10. I'm using some of that gold mirror cardstock and some of the pattern papers from this kit. I am using the For You stamp that I actually stamped out when I was doing one of the other cards that I didn't finish. And then I changed my mind and decided I wanted an embossed one. So I used the gold embossing powder from the kit and just added that as a strip. And I also used one of the two cans that were left over from all the other ones that I had cut out. 
So here is a photo of all of the finished products. So I hope you guys have enjoyed my video. I apologize again for the last video being so fast. I have slowed this one down a little bit and I hope you guys will stick with me and keep watching all of my videos. Also, don't forget to join in with us on our May challenge. The link will be at the end of the video and I will also pop it in the links below. Thanks so much for stopping by, guys. I will talk to you all soon. Bye.